The first time that I heard the name was at Wigiston Boys School, 1943, when I went with, with Richard and David had just left. And uh, I remember the, the headmaster at sort of speech day, they say, the Attenborough brothers have just left. Richard has made a film. Now this was wartime, you know, at the Second World War. And to, for somebody to go and make a film, was, it was like uh, uh, unbelievable, sort of. This, this was, I mean, you couldn't believe that anybody could be so famous as to. And so they were held up as, uh, as an icon, that everybody got to work very hard and try to achieve what, what, what Richard and, and David was doing. So that was 43. And the name starts to reappear after the war because I think he made his first film in which we served with Noel Coward, 42, and then quite a few films during the 40s, but of course it was a very difficult period uh, because the war was still going on. But then we came across each other. I was painting an actress called Nanette Newman for Brian, with Brian Forbes in the late 60s, and he introduced me to his great mate, his closest friend, uh, Richard Attenborough. And so from that moment on, uh, you know, we became, we became good friends. And because the arts, uh, film, painting, everything is under a huge umbrella, um, it's all compatible, and so you have a lot of things in common. And so the, the friendship goes back to 40 odd years. And uh, it seems like yesterday, you're trying to paint a picture about somebody uh, which tells slightly more than, than a snapshot. And uh, hence, at this time, there were all these films, and so I th we thought he'd, Gandhi hadn't long gone. And so we tried, in this case, to, to, to put, a, put a story together, a little bit of visual story. Um, and so it, it was a great pleasure and, uh, and a privilege, really, but particularly for here, because I had my first ever exhibition in this place when I was a student in 1958-59, and so, the, the, uh, you know, the Leicester connection is a, is a long, long time. And um, uh, it, it was a huge pleasure, but you do need to know somebody. And of course, the more you know somebody, the, the easier it is. You can tell a little bit more, hopefully. Well, it's a very complex character. And uh, you, you, move from, uh, you move from a highly sensitive, uh, hugely energetic, um, needing little sleep. Uh, which is a, a telling, telling tales of any, uh, any up and coming anything, you know, you need to put in a lot of hours. And uh, this man epitomizes that whole huge energy um, and a huge enthusiasm and enthusing other people uh, to a point where it becomes, in, in, you know, it's infectious. And I think this has been his greatest, uh, his, one of his greatest strengths. The, the thing that comes through all the time is this immense energy. Um, uh, and you, you, you talk to what I call ordinary normal, normal people, in brackets, but uh, these guys, this is huge energy and huge enthusiasm, huge determination beyond the norm. There's no question about that. And his, great, his closest friend, Brian Forbes, also a film producer, and they made a lot of films together, also the same sort of energy. And so this is the first thing that really hits you, uh, you know, coming from uh, you know, meeting these people and spending time with them. And it, is, it, is, uh, it does encourage you and enthuse you. And um, he, kn he didn't know when he was beaten. For example, the last time that I painted him, this picture I think is early 80s, so I painted him, I think, five times. Uh, the little picture which is in the Attenborough Centre here when they opened that. Uh, when in fact, uh, visually, uh, he was wearing uh, dark, heavy glasses. So suddenly you're looking at, at a visual image which, which is quite different because things like that change. Then we moved on to, I painted him for Rada. Um, uh, about 10 or 12 years ago where he was president. I mean, he's been president of nearly everything. So he was chairman of RADA and president of RADA. And RADA was very important to him because I th he went there as a student and Sheila, Sheila Sim, who she then was, who, be, who became, they, they met at RADA and did early films. 
through that. So that was a very important picture. And, and then we moved on to Sussex University, where he'd been Chancellor for 10 years, finishing about five, six years ago. He said, Brian, this picture is very important to me. Uh, in such a way that you feel you've really got to try. And, and so we tried he, he, in the congregations, in the, in the, uh, when they had the congregation days, Richard, of course, gave the, uh, gave the degrees in full, full robes, full of gold and black. And of course, he's a great, he is a great actor. And so the students responded to this. And part of the huge success was this ability to communicate in such a way that, that small, you know, young girls from China who were students suddenly felt at home with this, with this huge image. We actually used the gown, uh, which I've never ever done because I think it, it, it takes away from what you're trying to do, it takes away from the real character. But we, we wore this gown very heavy, full of gold, etc., etc. And we worked out, I said, we need for you to be speaking to the students in the way that, that he talks, that the hands become very, very important, and the expression. And I said, right, that's about it. So we started taking some pictures and I'm making some notes and doing little sketches. And I said, okay, that's all right for a minute. Oh, well, you know, we, we'll go down to the football match after. Uh, okay, let's go again. And then almost the tear comes, you see. So within 30 seconds, this is the, uh, it, it obviously, you've been doing it all your life, but suddenly you're back in the role, talking to the students as though every sentence you uttered was going to change their life. And the little, t you almost see the tear. Okay, Dickie, that's all right for a minute. Well, I said we should do this. We'll go down the road, should we? And do it. Now let's go again. And almost, almost praying within, within 10 seconds, so you suddenly realise that uh, we are dealing here with an actor. Sh Sheila tells a story, um, Sheila, uh, Lady Ab, <laughs> he said, we were, we were driving in the car one day with our grandson, and um, he wanted a, an ice cream, so we, we stopped. And uh, we got out and crossed, uh, the three of us got out and crossed the road, went and got the ice cream, and within... A few seconds, of course, coming out, people walking down the road, they stop, stop, you know, because everybody thinks they know these characters. So two ladies stopped him and said, oh, how marvellous to see you and all the rest of it. And so Sheila said, I moved on with, uh, this happens all the time, I moved on with, with our, our grandson. And he said to me, he said, Grandma, why does Grandpa always speak in that funny way to people? when they stop him. So she said, darling, you must remember Grandpa is an actor. And so this whole thing, uh, you know, it, it, it's part of a life. And uh, um, so these things are much easier. It's coming back to the question, um, I got to know him extremely well. And with Rada, he, uh, I had a call from Rada one day and they said, oh, well, you know, Please would you paint? Please would you paint a picture? Um, you you should feel very flattered because uh, Lord Attenborough he won't agree to this unless you do it. So you must feel very very flattered. I said, well, sadly, I don't think it's quite like that. I said, we're all mates, and we've done this a few times before. So from his point of view, it's much easier. So I think that's the route we should follow. He turned into something more than. Uh, an actor or a director. He, he became, uh, he become an image, and uh, he, uh, which represents all sorts of things. He was president of everything, uh, and chairman of everything, and he did do it genuinely. And uh, I think here, here the legacy has continued uh, from the school. From they were always listed as Leicester lads. Um, I found that to a certain extent myself, and so he used to oh, introduce me. Is another Leicester lad, you know. This was, this was never ever left, and um, it was very very strong influences early in life. There's no question about that.